Hello everyone, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now, I just recently just finished up the videos based on my uh, entire mask collection so far. And what I'm doing right now is giving you a walkthrough of all the masks all together in one, you know, separate video. I've seen people do this and show off their masks. Now, keep in mind, <laughs> mine are all over the place because my room is super crowded right now. I've yet to figure out, um, i got to build a, a bookshelf. And put all the masks in one uh, particular shelf and keep them in that particular area. The ones on the wall, I might leave them where they're at. Um, but I will continue collecting them once I come across some decent ones. But anyway, let me show you so far what I have. This right here is a Day of the Dead mask that I got from Party City for like, I think, 10 bucks. Now this one down here is the same way. Now, keep in mind, as I show you these things, uh, some of the areas will be dark. So... I apologize about that. Okay, so now hang on, let me get this proper grip here. All right. And now this here is just a cheap dollar mask that I got from um, one of the Dollar General stores. Family Dollar or something. But anyway, got it a few years ago. Okay, that's a green skull. Another dollar mask, okay? Now you're going to see me walking around here, guys, okay? Now it's going to get nice and bright over here. Alright, so now, with this in mind, this one right here is in fact uh, a Ruby's mask based on the Frankenstein monster. Okay. If it's kind of bright, I apologize about that. This one right here is a creature from the Black Lagoon. I've been wanting one of these for the longest time. It is a Trick or Treat Studios version of the uh, creature. It's very cool. Now, you'll notice that the eyes right now are extremely small. If you wear this mask, your peripherals will definitely be off because of those tiny little holes. You can't really see, you know, if you move your head side to side. Uh, yeah, obviously, you can't see. It's just a bad mask to wear. But obviously, you see I'm using them just for props, okay? So keep that in mind. Now, this one here, I'm thinking it's Ghoulish Productions. It's another Frankenstein mask. It's got a very cool color scheme to it. But the thing is, when I first saw this, is this particular eye right here is damaged. I've yet to figure it out or kind of trim it up and stuff and figure it out. Maybe superheat it and get it pushed back in so it looks kind of normal. Uh, that's a work in progress, okay? Moving down to the next shelf. Right there we're going to get into the season of The Witch, Halloween 3. Great movie in my opinion, but a lot of people don't like it simply because it didn't have Michael Myers in it. It was refreshing to watch that movie. The antagonists in this movie are these three figures that I'm going to show you here. These are in fact all Trick or Treat Studio masks. The skull, very cool looking. I think it's the best one of the bunch in my opinion. And obviously you got your pumpkin, okay? Now down here is a Plague Doctor hat, okay? I have almost an entire outfit based on the Plague Doctor. My jacket is not your traditional robe that they normally wear. I wanted more of a renaissance look for him. And it's still a work in progress. Okay, so that's the actual hat for it. The Plague Doctor Steampunk version biomechanical type um, mask. It is a half mask. Very easy to wear. Very easy to breathe out of. But it's got a very cool look about it. Scarecrow. Okay, big teethy thing. Down here is a Frankenstein slash zombie type mask I got from Spirit Halloween. And I think it was like 20 bucks for that, maybe 30 bucks. This here is Trick or Treat Studios 2018 mask. And the 1978 Trick or Treat Studios Michael Myers mask, okay? Alright, now this guy right here is not a mask. But he is a very cool looking prop. I got him a few years ago from Big Lots. Uh, it lights up and moves back and forth. Very cool looking. Alright, moving into this next mask is a demon type mask, okay? 
Now, as you can see, also with the uh, scarecrow there, that is the latest of uh, my uh, masks. I literally got this almost two or three days ago, and I posted images on my Halloween uh, groups that I'm in, and people still to this day are actually uh, talking about this mask. They're like, oh, where did you get it? So I had to post a link from uh, Amazon where I actually got it from. The eyes are very cool in this thing, and the teeth look ridiculously realistic. Okay, and the hay on this thing, I will tell you this, it is made of a plastic, so it won't break off and, you know, do anything stupid. It's a very cool mask, but for big-headed people like myself, as you can see, it is not a very big mask, okay? It's not very big. So it is just purpose for kids or smaller people, women. But for guys with big heads, not so much. It is a tight fit. Moving on to the clown. Now this guy right here is like a Gene Simmons on roids, okay? He's very cool looking. You can get this mask on Amazon in red or black. Same with this guy here. You can get him in black as well, but I chose the reds obviously because it stands out. And it's a very traditional color for clowns anyway. Now this guy right here, truly evil, okay? I'm not sure what the name of this uh, clown is, but it is a cool looking clown. The color scheme is a little different for me, but you get used to it because it really does pop. It stands out. All right, now I'm going to get around here and show you these other masks. I got to move around my, my Halloween tree. Let me show you my Halloween tree real quick. This thing is freaking cool. See that? It's fiber optic and it lights up. And also my Ouija skull. But anyway, back to the skull uh, masks. Okay, this right here, Scream from Fun World, okay? It is the ghost face mask. I wanted to get the knife set for it. Might do it uh, further down the line and maybe get a full costume, but it's a future thing. This is another Frankenstein mask. I don't know if you can actually see him. He's, he's in there, see? That's a very cool looking mask. Now, I will tell you this about um, this mask here. When I first saw it on Amazon, it, had, it looked very cool on the guy. It's like, oh man, that looks badass. That's why I bought it. And I have another one in the closet, but it's got a full open mouth on it. I don't agree with that. To me, the, uh, the whole mask needs to be whole. And you just get a little slit in the lips, but I didn't care for that part. This here, vampire type thing. Kind of reminds me of the... Um, Vampires from Blade 2, a little bit, except their mouths open up wide. This guy right here is Mr. Pumpkin, Evil Pumpkin. I like pumpkins. Okay, that guy is cool. That cost me about 40 bucks for that mask. Right down here is kind of like a death stroke type situation going on here. These are my paintball masks. Okay. He's got a cool look about him. This one here is more like a halo type situation. All right. And obviously in the back here is a predator mask that I got from uh, Wish.com for like 11, or not 11, like five bucks, okay? This one here is another paintball mask based on the Wolf Predator. It is black and white scheme. It's very cool looking. It's comfortable to wear too. The cross right there, okay, that's part of the Plague Doctor outfit. Here is another of my Plague Doctors. See, that's cool. It's kind of bronze colored. It's similar to the one I just uh, showed you, except this is actually just a mask, as you can see. The other one has like tube-like hair. I'll have to show you, because one day I'm going to do a video wearing all the Plague Doctor masks that I got. Another Halo-type uh, mask. All right, see that? Now, these are... Very easy to see out of. This guy here, pumpkin. I love pumpkins. The mouth moves up and down. If you want to check out that video, uh, there is a video. Or just go through all the mask uh, videos. You'll catch this one here. It shows you uh, of me opening it up and closing it. It's very comfortable to wear too because it's made of a soft, like a polyurethane or poly, I don't know. It's like a soft sponge type uh, mask. This guy right here. British. Now you'll see a, uh, a couple of these. They got very similar molds. They just got different paint schemes. 
this one here, see, black, these would be cool to wear too. This one is the uh, patriotic one, okay. Plague Doctor mask, this one more like a steampunk type uh, situation, okay. Now this one here, believe it or not, uh, the vision in it is not bad at all. But this one up here is the first one I ever bought. Now, the lenses on that, not so much. They are very dark. If it's a very uh, brightly lit room, then you're going to see out of it fine. But if it's dark outside, it's going to be hard to see. Plus, it's hard to breathe out of those. Jason Voorhees paintball mask. Another one. That's the black one. And then we got your uh, Spirit Halloween version of uh, Jason's mask. Okay, now we're going to walk all the way over here to the other side of the room. Where I will show you the two other masks. Okay. The nice shiny one which kind of reminds me of um, uh, Ghostface a little bit. So I got that a couple years ago. This guy right here is my biggest mask. Okay. Now I think um, my Ruby's version of Herman Munster is probably almost as big as this one here. We're going to see once it comes in. But I think that's it on my masks. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bu uh, bell. Because uh, I'm going to be pushing out a lot more videos. My next video, I'm going to be concentrating everything on this particular shelf right here. Alright. We're going to go through all that stuff real soon, okay. It is Halloween, my friends. You have yourselves a good night.